الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد حبت في الله اهل السنه should be and is in general first and foremost in good manners you'll find those who go against that principle of ahl sunnah however ahl sunnah is first and foremost and should be first and foremost even when we find mistakes in taqsir in individuals like ourselves ahabatullah we know that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said ma min shay'in athqalu fi mizan mu'min yawm al-qiyamah min husn al-khulq wa inna allah yubghidu al-fahsha al-bidi that there isn't a thing that weighs heavier on the scale of the believers on the day of judgment than good manners and verily Allah hates sinful and wicked speech. Ahabatul Allah a lot of times uh, a fallacy that I wanted to speak about very quickly is we hear often certain jama'at like Jamaat At-Tabliq and other groups of uh, of innovation and desires that they are the best of manners. Oh the brothers are so good in manners and on the vahir it appears that way. But I promise you, when you and as they are individuals, and perhaps in all fairness, we should judge them as individuals because there are those from amongst them, of course, that have good manners, and you, they try to emphasize this on the vahir as a jamaat. But you'll find that if you are from ahl sunnah, if you're a Salafi, if you don't believe in distorting the names and attributes of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. and you believe in things as they as as, as the nusus came from kitab wa sunna and according to the salaf of this umma then you'll a lot of times find opposition from them some of them won't give you salams and you'll see their good manners go out the door and a true story i was in ethiopia and i told the story before uh, many years ago and we prayed at this masjid we got a chance to do some dawa there and dawa at another masjid and this masjid that we slept in by the way that had hyenas come at night which i didn't get to see but i could hear them growling at the door this masjid that we slept in the habitatullah it was established on a property of this brother huge property there in uh, in a small city called butajira and it was established on his property because he was at a khutbah he didn't really know much about the dawah to ahl sunnah but he loves the salafis he loves ahl sunnah and he allows them to do dawah in his his uh his masjid and you know and and provide and helps them and has them come for ramadan and his son is memorizing quran with them and doing dawah with them wallahi alhamd but what encouraged him is because he saw once one of the preachers of ahl sunnah was given the khutbah and the tablikis became so angry about a certain issue the man was speaking about he wasn't talking about even the people of desires it was about tawhid and they took him from the minbar and beat him this is about talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ta'deem of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you beat this man so we saw that those manners those tablikī manners that the people praise often they went out the door when it came to ahl tawhid and when it came to someone speaking about in detail about tawhid so this lets us know habibi fillah do not be fooled and even my own experience here where i in the locality i pray in a certain masjid often when i'm back home here in the states in a city called bellevue and may allah forgive us and them but you see the welcome they don't the welcome of the imam because he knows i'm salafi and even many people in the community they hardly bat an eye but yet they make dua and they greet everyone when they're coming and going this one's going to pakistan this one's mother died this one they make dua make dua so and so is in jidda and i'm going back to jidda they don't announce they don't anything and it's not that i want announcement but salams doesn't hurt the point being habibi fillah is those manners they go out the door when it comes to dealing with those people of the sunnah and we ask Allah the almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam